I oftentimes get asked uh, why do I air down the tires on the truck or just for anybody in general and basically in a nutshell what it does is by lowering the PSI in your tires you basically get a more comfortable ride um, and it also helps a lot of your suspension components so by airing down your tires you're lessening the PSI so pounds per square inch that are inside the tire itself and when you do that uh, the tire uh, has a greater uh, contact patch on the terrain that you're driving, whether it's a gravel road, sand, snow, mud, whatever it may be. And by having a larger contact patch, you also have greater traction. So that's one reason. The second would be, like I mentioned, is uh, ride comfort. So allowing the PSI to drop, it allows the tire to conform to different terrain and objects that are on the road and that allows you to have a more comfortable ride while you're inside the vehicle, but it also helps a lot of your suspension commo components too, so it's not such a jarring hit every time the uh, tire is moving over a vast amount of different types of terrain. We got a black bear right there. I had enough time to get my bigger telephoto lens on, so thankfully he's just kind of hanging out and soaking up the sun. We were able to get a closer shot. Huh. Well, he just ran into the tree line, so he was on the other side of this kind of big bend. So I wanted to kind of wait, let him do his thing, and run into the tree line without me really disturbing him. So, nonetheless, it worked out mutually. I was able to get some good shots, got the bigger lens on to get closer. He ate some grass or whatever, and is now back in the tree line, so... Super cool. Always got to have your eye out when you're on these roads. And keep your distance.
pro tip for the iCamper Sky Camp Series tents, you can actually go ahead and undo the Velcro on both sides of the rainfly, roll it all the way up. There's some loops to secure it in place. And then that way you have unobstructed views right here to look out at a mountain as pristine as Mount Rainier as we're going to this evening. But also the tent ventilates a little bit more. And fun fact is when you unzip the bug netting on the sky view window, you can actually stand through it and let all your friends be envious that you can do that with your tent. So pro tip of the day. Well, happy Friday, everybody, and welcome to another weekend adventure. Uh, as you could probably already tell, I'm out here in the old reliable Greenwater, Washington, and I found a fantastic site, which has Mount Rainier, as you can see right behind me. And this is the first weekend of summer, so we are seeing temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, blue skies and sunshine, so it's going to be a great weekend. Um, the bugs are out in full force, so I did put up the A or B uh, bug room with the awning, so that's nice to kind of have a retreat and be able to cook and hang out without doing this all day, so that's kind of nice. Uh, but as expected with warmer weather are a lot more crowds, um, so I already have some neighbors down the way, and I'm sure that the road leading up here is already full, so it's kind of nice that this is the last spot basically on this road all the way in, so I will have kind of maybe a little bit of seclusion, but we'll see. Uh, nonetheless, it's going to be great. It's just a quick overnight trip, so tomorrow I'll be packing up and then I'll kind of do some exploring before heading home. Um, but I cannot wait to see the sunset here with Mount Rainier behind me. It's going to be amazing, amazing view. So should be good, but just going to be hanging out until then. So let's do it. So for those of you curious, this is the ARB awning room that attaches directly to uh, their awnings. And I had purchased this last summer and I'm actually getting some really good use for it today. What's great is you still have accessibility, um, 180 degrees all the way around, which is great. The two uh, windows there can actually drop on both sides, give you a nice privacy. You can actually enter on both sides as well, which is pretty nice. You have your main window view right there. But the best part is, that the, is the floor is fully sealed too. So that's really nice uh, to kind of keep creepy crawlies from getting in. But uh, there's a perfect example, one guy right there. But uh, what's great is the uh, room itself, it's fully sealed to the awning. Uh, so there's no gap or anything like some other brands, which is really cool. And then like I mentioned in the last episode, uh, the awning itself by ARB um, has a LED light strip and when you run the room with it as well You have a clear PVC window or whatever to still allow light to shine through and then when you look at the vehicle this big giant U or horseshoe, this is one big door so you can access your vehicle still so for myself in the back passenger seat I have the Iceco fridge and then up front, I have my backpack with all my camera stuff. So usually is there when I'm running solo, but I can still access everything as I need. And then as far as spacing, probably can fit about two individuals um, in here, maybe a small dog and pet as well, and then a camp table. But it's nice to just have a retreat because I don't know about you guys, mosquitoes fly from different zip codes to come find me. So it's really nice to just be able to hang out, cook and enjoy the views without being bothered, so. 
perfect, perfect weekend and a great consideration for your summer setup. Not affiliated, but just definitely love their products.
Well, all right, guys. So ending the weekend here at 5,280 feet in elevation with stunning views of Mount Rainier on a blue sunshine day with the sun top fire lookout there right behind me. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. The views are just simply stunning and what a weekend to kick off our summer adventures. Uh, I did the last short little hike up here with all my camera gear. They unfortunately blocked off the road on getting up here because of uh, past years uh, heading, having vandalism. So vehicle access all the way to the top is no more, but you do have to hike up here. So if anything makes you earn the last little bit of views, which I don't mind. But it is incredible, and I'm just going to be soaking up these views for a little bit longer until I head back and call it a weekend. But as always, guys, I sincerely appreciate your support. It truly means the world to me. And until next time, safe travels.